I'm Atubo Judge, and I'm so blessed today to be bringing God's truth to you. I know God's word is going to bring a change in your mindset that will eventually affect your life. That's the purpose of God's word. It changes us. Praise God. Now, before we go into today's broadcast, can we make demand for our daily bread? Join me in faith right now as we declare, say, Father... I receive right now my daily bread. It's coming to me in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Now, you see, the understanding, I keep telling you this, the understanding that you have that you've got daily bread to receive from your Father is what brings about that commitment on your part to seek it. And then it brings about his faithfulness in keeping what he has promised. So Jesus said, anyone who seeks will find. Now, it doesn't mean it's everything you're seeking that you will find. You understand what I'm talking about? If you seek the things that are for you, you will find it by God. Praise God. Now then, I've been sharing you know, some things with you. And we're going to continue today in like manner. Now, you know sometimes I'm just speaking on different things to talk to you about. So today let's talk about prayer. You know, a lot of times you find believers claiming they pray, but truly they don't pray. They go for prayer meetings and they pray in those meetings. But then they don't pray. Something about prayer you need to understand and this should help you. We pray to a God who answers prayers. We are not like the heathen that just um, do their libation, say some words and then I'm done. No. We pray to a God who answers prayers. Now, what does that mean? It means anytime I pray, I should expect answers. Now, the other mistake people make is to think that if the thing changes, then I know he has answered. Oh, no. You are supposed to know that you're getting answer the moment you are praying. Prayer is not like an application you do. See, prayer is not like that. You know, that's the mindset people have. You know, just like you submit your application somewhere and then they are going to look at the whole application submitted. If you are successful, you will be contacted. That's not what prayer is. But that's the mindset people have. So you think we all pray and God takes all these our requests. You know, there are angels that gather all our prayer requests and they put it in a sack. And then God starts picking them one after the other. And they say, God, when, when will it be my turn? Oh, God, when will it be my turn? What are you thinking about? When will God pick up my prayer request and look at it and say, Ah, it's time to answer this one. No, sir, that's not how prayer works. Prayer is a relationship. So when I come to the Lord, that's why the Bible says you must first believe that he is. So when I say I want to pray to the Lord. First and foremost, I must believe that He is. So, as I begin to pray, this is what prayer simply means. You travel, now I want you to picture this. You travel all the way, you have something in your mind. You say, oh, I need to see my father, I need to see my earthly father. Also, some of you say, I want to see my pastor. You travel all the way, or whatever distance is it, far or near, to go, you make an effort to go see that person. And then you sit down with that person and you begin to unburden the things that are in your heart. Now, what do you think? Does the person just sit down and watch you until you finish talking? When you finish talking, he said, mm. and I said, thank you. I finished telling you everything that is troubling me. I am now going. And the person, that's, that's not a real relationship. Now, this is, this, if you believe 
that this person you're going to will somehow have the answers to that thing that you're dealing with. And you go meet him. While you are discussing, there's got to be feedback from him or from her. While you're discussing, the person say, oh, I see. Um, I think this is where um, you've not been handling this thing right. Or I think this is where you're wrong. Or I think this is what you should add. Or this is what you should do. So when you leave that place, those things haven't changed yet. You're leaving that place with a kind of confidence that you have been heard. It's the same thing with prayers. So when we walk, when we come to the Lord to pray, the way we know that our prayer is being answered is what happened during the prayer. It's not what, will, what is going to happen after we have prayed. It's what happens during the prayer. I come to the Lord now and I begin to pray about something. Bless God for the ability to speak in tongues. It makes it a whole lot easier. So I come to the Lord and I begin to pray. And I begin to pray in the Spirit. I pray one day I'm going to take time to explain you know, you know, the benefit of play, praying in the Spirit. But not today. So you begin to pray in the Spirit. But this is where my heart is. I, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about this thing. And then I'm praying in the Spirit. And I'm praying in the Spirit. Now there are two things. And you must know. When we say praying in the Spirit, there are times you are speaking in tongues. But then you know that your, your spirit is not really engaged. Your mind is on every other thing. Yeah, when I'm praying in tongues, my spirit is the one that is praying. So my understanding is unfruitful. So I can actually do that. But then you see, what about getting your mind engaged in what you're praying about. Now that's when you begin to get the real benefit of your time of prayer. So as you're praying and praying and praying and suddenly the word of the Lord will begin to come to you. Now that's what happens when we pray. Listen, I'm not talking about we are all gathered and we're praying and someone say, oh, brethren, I have a word from the Lord. I have a word from the Lord. Okay, what's the word? The Lord is saying, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you doing the prayer. If you gathered and, and you're in the midst of a thousand people and you are all praying, I'm talking about you, 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 hearing God for yourself. If you believe that that moment you are spending in prayer, if you believe you're talking to a God who hears and answers prayers, then you should be able to hear him talk to you. You know, the Lord was talking to me about this a few, a few days ago. And then he said, you know the problem with your nation? You guys don't pray. Now, you can't, you can't come and tell me that Nigerians don't pray. <laughs> no, no, no. You'll be in error to say that. Uh, you know, that's how we think. Because what are you talking about? Do you know how I, I went to a city some time back and oh dear lord you know you 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 are in this house thinking of how you're going to sleep that night it was a friday night and then there was a church on this side having an all night meeting there was another church somewhere not too far away and the sound from those churches were so loud I mean, you, you could pick everything that's going on in the church. And they, 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 I mean, they, they all were on till about 4 a.m. Now, you, you don't come and say you don't pray. That kind of, you understand what I'm talking about? So I said to Lazarus, Lord, I think that would be unfair to say we don't pray in our nation. It would be unfair. And the Lord began to explain some. Now, of course, not that I was doubting him. But you know, some things the Lord will tell you is take you aback. And the Lord began to explain some things to me. I'm like, whoa, very true. We don't pray in this nation. And I'll share some of those things with us today. So we're praying. We gather together to pray for Nigeria. And we're all praying. And most times, 
while we're all praying, we're waiting for the leader of the prayer to round off the prayer. And either give us the next prayer point or tell us it is well, God has heard us. That's what we do. Individually, when we are gathered together like that, we don't realize as individuals, we are supposed to be receiving words concerning what we are praying about, in this case, which is our nation, Nigeria. We don't realize that we are supposed to be receiving words personally from the Lord. Now, I believe on a particular Sunday in this nation, I believe, and I'm being over modest with this, on every Sunday, I believe over 70 million people go to church in this country. I believe so. Now, so what does that mean? Now, out of those 70 million, I believe up to 50 million that will attend churches where they may raise prayer concerning the nation. However simple or however short it is, it's a reminder to pray. Now, if 20 million Nigerians engage their mind in praying for the nation, and those 20 million Nigerians receive words from the Lord when they pray, you know what you're going to have? You are going to have 20 million, not even two, even if you have 10 million. You are going to have, even if it's this 10 million people, leaving the place of prayer with a word from the Lord. And let me tell you one thing the word of the Lord does. It energizes you. It brings you wisdom. It brings you knowledge. Then three, it energizes you. And guess what? God is not going to be telling us what the president is supposed to do. God is going to be telling us what we are supposed to do. Are you listening to me? So think about 10 million people in one day receiving instruction from the Lord personally on what they are supposed to do. Now I'm saying this that if we are really praying. 10 million people receiving from the Lord on a particular day, what they are supposed to do. And they obey the Lord to carry out what the Lord tells them to do. Dear Lord, there is no force that can stop such people. Because you're going to have 10 million people walking by faith. And, and they, are, they are walking by, not because one man is commanding them. You know what I mean? Not, not one church. I'm not talking about one denomination. Now. I'm talking about... 10 million people whose hearts are up to God and they receive instructions from the Lord. They are going to carry out several instructions that will culminate into a major force. Listen to me. It is easy to change any nation from the place of prayer. Now, I hear people say things like this. Hey, we pray too much in this country. Instead of us to walk, we will spend our time praying. Ah, uh, no, we're not praying. No, we're not. Because when you pray, you will know the work to do. <laughs> Are you understanding what I'm saying? That's the truth. Now, if you don't pray, you may do work that will be in vain. So the work that you do eventually will end up being in vain. So that's why you don't envy nations that don't pray. So say, look at nations that don't even fear God like we do. They are making pro Who told you they are making progress? Have you seen their end? The Bible said there's a way that seems right to a man. As long as the man is walking on that way, it will seem right to him. But the Bible said the end of that way are the ways of death. You know what that means? When that man is walking, he has every explanation to give you why he's walking on that way. But wait till you get to the end of that way. Before that end, everything will seem right. He will be an inspiration to many until you get to the end. When you get to the end, you realize everywhere I turn now will lead to death. Because the, Lord, the Bible says, except the Lord builds the house, 
the laborers are laboring in vain. They will labor, but their labor will be in vain, eventually. So when, don't envy nations that don't pray. Everything they are doing, it might look right today, but it will end up in vain. But a nation that prays will receive instruction. Now, when I mean prayer, I'm not talking about gathering and shouting, just doing that. I mean, you know, that's just, just what I explained to you. We, we assemble together, either, either together or individually, and we begin to receive instruction, and we begin to receive wisdom from the Lord. And what we hear from the Lord, we carry out. Brothers and sisters, the change we desire is surely going to come. My time is up for today, praise God. I'm going to continue this tomorrow because I want you to really get every goodie from this, these things I'm teaching you. I pray the whole Lord will open your understanding and grant you wisdom in this truth. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.